Imagine spending a bunch of money to buy your very own ranch only to sell it roughly two years later because you are convinced that the land is cursed and there is definitely some paranormal shit going on. That's exactly what happened to Terry Sherman and today we're going to talk about how his cattle ranch became known as the famous Skinwalker Ranch. Hi, I'm Alex and welcome to Death Scribbles. Known as the site of countless paranormal incidents and UFO-related activities, Sherman Ranch, or more famously known as Skinwalker Ranch, is a 512-acre plot of land located southeast of Ballard, Utah. Amongst all of the weirdness surrounding this ranch, it got its infamous name because people believe that it's inhabited by a skinwalker. The ranch's spooky reputation got far enough that History Channel was interested about it and made a whole TV show around it. Many believe that the land is cursed because of the countless strange happenings like crop circles, cattle mutilations, and UFO sightings to name a few. When I first came to the ranch, I was kind of an agnostic when it came to the place. It's not that I didn't believe that things were happening, but they sounded pretty amazing and outlandish to me. Oh, up right here, up here, right there. That's it. But after experiencing what I did this summer, there's no doubt in my mind that there's a phenomenon or something taking place there that has completely shaken my understanding on what reality really is. Skinwalker Ranch was sold a few times, and all of the owners seemed to back Sherman's claims. Terry Sherman owned Skinwalker Ranch from 1994 to 1996. Of course, back then it was only known as Sherman Ranch. The man was literally scared into selling his land, and I don't blame him. Terry said that he would constantly hear disembodied voices while walking his dog. The language these voices would speak was unknown to Terry. He says that he felt as they were invoking something. But that's not the only strange thing that Terry and his family witnessed. According to them, the land was supposedly a hotbed for UFO activities, and they claimed to have seen three different kinds of UFOs floating above their land. A small, box-like craft with white lights, a 40-foot long object, and even a ship that they described being the size of several football fields. They also claim to have discovered three crop circles with a triangular pattern, and each about 8 feet across and 30 feet away from each other. The Shermans have linked the sightings of the death and disappearance of seven of their cows. Four have disappeared without a trace, while three have been found partially mutilated. What in the world? It's just dead. And who knows what crazy, amazing thing. Feeling spooked and generally uneasy about his plot of land, in 1996, Terry sold it to Robert Bigelow, who was a known UFO fanatic. Robert put up a lot of surveillance on the property, and things got progressively weirder. The man established the National Institute for Discovery Science in hopes of studying cryptid-like creatures, glowing orbs, and UFO sightings reported by the previous owner, Terry. On March 12, 1997, Colm Kelleher, who was a biochemist working with Bigelow's Institute, claimed to have seen a humanoid creature spying on their research team from a tree. The creature was motionless, and Kelleher could clearly see its yellow, unblinking eyes staring at them. For some reason, he decided that it was a good idea to fire his rifle at the creature, and it disappeared into the night. He went on to investigate the site, and that's when he saw a huge claw raptor-like footprint imprinted on the snow. It was about 6 inches in diameter, and the depth that it had penetrated the snow with indicated it was made by a very heavy creature. Although Robert Bigelow's research did give birth to a book in which several of his researchers claimed to have seen countless of paranormal activities happening at the remote ranch in Utah, he failed to provide any meaningful physical evidence to back up Sherman's stories. 
Skinwalker Ranch may hold secrets to the universe that we've yet to uncover. The ranch was under Bigelow's ownership until 2016, when it was bought by a company called Adamantium. As any big company, they decided to install cameras, a security system, infrared, alarms, and a bunch of other techy stuff that I know nothing about. Workers from the company say that paranormal happenings are a regular occurrence at Skinwalker Ranch even today. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and if weirdness is your cup of tea, coffee, or whatever beverage you prefer, then do click the like button and subscribe button, and leave a comment to appease the algorithm gods. Thank you so much again, and see you next time. Goodbye, darklings.